OK, well, here we are. I'm looking at the first images on the film, so I'm just sort of seeing what settings I need to start with on my grading controls, to, which will be dependent on things like the lighting at the time, the type of film stock that was, was used by eye and experience, adjusting the controls here so that our friend on the screen looks a reasonably neutral sort of colour. So I have controls, knob controls for master gamma, which is the response of the machine between black and white. This is colour lift. I'm just arbitrarily using the... This boosts the, the setting I have, boosts the magenta cast in the low lights. Now, I don't really want any of that, so I'll turn it off. I can make the whole scene black and white if I want. I can adjust the total saturation so I can overcook it a bit for that sort of slightly garish technicolour look. Now, the BBC, through experimentation in the early days of colour, came to the conclusion that for the most convenient arrangement of adjustments, um, for colour correction live on air, as it was at the time, was to have two joysticks and the left-hand one, the knob on the top adjusts the lift, which is the black level in the picture, and the movement adjusts the colour gamma, which, strictly speaking, is the mid-tone colour balance, but that has the most effect on a picture and the look of a picture rather than colour lift, which has less effect and doesn't generally need adjustment between scenes. And the right-hand joystick is all to do with the highlights, the whites, the gain. So turning the knob on the top alters the master gain, so I can completely overdrive things or turn it down. And moving the stick around affects the colour balance in primarily the highlight areas of the scene.